Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, I'm gonna show you my $5 ammo can survival kit. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're gonna be discussing my $5 ammo can survival kit. Keep in mind this particular kit, if you decide to build something like this because you get inspiration, you can put whatever you want in yours and there's no judgment at all. For me, the concept of this kit is bare bones supplies. These are just extra supplies that you can keep stashed away in your toolbox, your trunk, possibly a back closet. Even if you decide to take this a little bit farther and prep this a little bit more, you can set these up as geocaches for supplies along your way and your bug out routes. So you know, a lot of people just keep it in their vehicle. I understand that, but I'm saying you could get caught with your pants down, but if you were decided to create something like a geocache, this is the kind of overall blanket concept for this kit. Now, this particular ammo can is one of the smaller ones. This is the $5 one that we picked up at Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people like the metal ones, but we chose this one because the polymer is really durable. It is slightly more resistant to the elements. It's lighter weight, but it's a boatload cheaper. Now, a quick tip before we dive in here is you could use a zip tie for this hole. And just by slipping it in here, this will allow you to know if anyone's actually tampered with your cash. It won't stop anybody from getting in, but it'll be a very clear sign that if that's removed, damaged, or messed up in any way, you know someone's jacked with your stuff. Diving into the contents of the kit, you'll see right away we've got a bunch of stuff in here. So right up here at the top, we've got these two Kim lights. I have reviewed a bunch of these before, but a reason I like these is because on Amazon, you can pick up like a 12 pack. You can put these in your bug out bags, different survival kits, ammo cans, wherever you feel like putting them. And you've got a stash of these just sitting around in a bunch of different areas when you need them. Next up, we've got the Super Bad by Kaiser. This is a Mikel Williamson knife. You can pick it literally any knife you want, but we chose this one because it's about a four and a half to five inch blade. It's a fixed blade, but it's super, super thinly profiled all the way around, and it's rocking VG10, which is a really good stainless steel. Now, what you see right here is some saran wrap. We went ahead and prepped this for long-term storage, so if we don't touch this for several years, we don't have to worry about having a corroded blade. We will redo the long-term storage setup, but it's really simple. This is a super bad, I like it. It has a lot of good ergonomics, really, really comfortable in the hand, has everything I need ready to go. It will help me do some tasks that I need to in the outdoors. But like I said, the reason we picked this is because it's super, super thinly profiled and it fits really well in that kit. The next two items is we have these two shit kits. These are some field toiletry kits that we've got. These are single use, but they've got hand sanitizer, toilet paper, but just everything we need right in here for some temporary use. Like I said, this kit is not a full on bug out bag, just a supply kit to give us some extra supplements to things we need. Next, we've got my Kabuya handline. This is a part of my survival fishing kit. I love this. This came from Merkwares or the guys over the Emberlip stove. My friend Mikhail was the one who made this. Um, we showed off how to set up a very simple survival fishing rig and right now this is just rocking some simple 15 pound test line It's nothing um, super big, but it will be enough for what we would need as we would most likely be freshwater fishing So we've got the hydro blue three-stage sidekick emergency water filter. I've reviewed this thing It's been in a bunch of different kits of mine. You guys have seen this a bunch of times But I love this. This is a new one that we've never used and we went ahead and sealed it up in a bag so to make sure that we just kind of keep this away from the elements just a little bit better while we have this but for the fact that this size can filter 100 gallons in an emergency this is perfect up is illumination illumination is very very important when you're in a survival situation it gives you a lot of hope confidence but it can be used as a self-defense item if you need to so right here we've got the s1a baton by olight with a spare set of four AA batteries so we have a battery in here that may or may not die and we can check on that but I like this because it's a really small size, common use batteries, and like I showed right here, we can stick a lot of replacements for this flashlight to let it last a little bit longer if we need to without too much worry. Now this is my survival fishing tackle box. It's got some bobbers, some weights, some swivel heads, some baits, some lures, some hooks, everything I need to get the job done in an emergency. And if you're wondering where I picked this stuff up, a lot of the stuff came from the fishing and hunting kit, from the boss kit from Sanford Outdoor Supply. But I also got the remainder of this stuff at places like Walmart, Academy, Amazon, and so forth. 
is a multi-tool. A knife is great, but a multi-tool can literally save your life because of just the awesome amount of tools this thing has on it. This is the Sidekick by Leatherman. I like this one way better than the freaking Wingman. I know a lot of people like the Wingman, but the Sidekick is my baby. It's got a full-size knife on it. We have a saw on the other side, and they're completely accessible without opening this, but we also have some good urban survival tools, but the big selling point for me is the pocket clip. Now, my tools aren't gonna be very good if I can't keep them sharp in the field, so I have the Spark and Sharp, and I love this freaking thing, and the biggest selling point for me is not the bottle opener. It is the fact that I've got a good ferro rod right here that I have used quite a bit, but it allows me to do serrations and the straight edge of my knife to do some simple, quick, and dirty field sharpening to keep my tools ready to go in the field. We've got some toilet tablets. We can give credit to Canadian Prepper for that. Big shout out to him. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, definitely go subscribe to him. But he gave me this idea. This helps me have a match holder that has eight toilet tablets to coincide with my shit kit filled toiletry kits to have something in lieu so I can keep myself clean in an emergency. So we got the epic wipe. It is, oh, I cannot tell you. The best feeling in the world is when you've been twirling and you're filthy and you're grimy and you've been out all day sweating your butt off or getting really nasty to be able to clean off. And I can say that definitely in a survival situation, this would be a huge morale booster and very hygienic. Next up is my med kit. This is the on on the fly kit by Survival Medical. I picked this up at Sanford Outdoor Supply. I'll definitely drop a link in the video description. But I love this kit because it's so freaking tiny and compact. It takes up almost no space at all. And I've got a nice little Algae Boo Boo kit to keep with me that's good for long-term storage. To coincide with my small little ferro rod from the sparkling shop, I've got my sear strips. You guys saw these from Go Prepared Survival and I love these things. The fact that I can break this entire kit down to 96 strips is just invaluable and kind of silly not to put something this small into your kit because it's just super freaking useful, watertight, and I mean literally Special Ops uses this, so why not put it in your kit? I've got Slingshot. This is the pocket shot. You guys see me review this a lot. I love all the renditions and variants, and I don't care what anybody says. A pocket shot for small game is viable. We have a daisy pack that has some 3 8 inch, 70 rounds of ammunition in here, and the key for something like this is you gotta practice a lot. Whether you're gonna be hunting, shooting, archery, fishing, you gotta go out there and do it, otherwise you're not gonna be any good. The biggest thing to remember with things like this, your batteries, your first aid kits, things like that, definitely go through your survival kits and check them every six months or so and make sure the bands are good, the batteries are still charging, everything's kosher, so if you ever run into an emergency, you don't call it with your pants on again by crap not working. Well, I need to be able to cook any food that I may or may not catch in a survival situation, so I've got the bear bowl. You guys saw this about a week ago, maybe, not even, and this thing is freaking sweet. This comes from Bear Minimum, and I'm definitely gonna definitely, definitely, definitely drop it. I'll link in the video description for this. I love this freaking thing. It is a super small portable pot, but what we did is because we didn't actually stick a stove in here due to space, we used that hack that I mentioned earlier, and you can take the aluminum foil that is right here, wrap around the outside, and that will give this thing enough heat resistance to take prolonged exposure to open flame when you're cooking. Well, next up, we need a way to kind of keep ourselves dry, have an emergency shelter, anything like that. Now, I know people might stick in a 55 gallon bag, anything like that, but keep in mind, this is the small ammo can. It's not really big, it's gonna be very, very light and portable kit. So what we did is grab the emergency poncho by Survive Soul, it's Survive Outdoors Longer. This is like a 12 to $15 poncho slash emergency blanket that you can use in a variety of different configurations to build an emergency tarp tent, to use it as a poncho, to wear it as an emergency blanket. It kind of just works, but it being so compact, it was kind of silly not to put it in here. Food rations. Because if you get caught in a weird situation and you're grabbing this out of desperation, the thought of just being able to eat something could be a huge motivator for you in the survival situation, not to mention its nutritious and its calories. Now, the very last item in this kit is a modified survival kit all in itself. This is the Go Fast Emergency Kit by Go Prepared Survival. This is slightly modified though, as we added a few different items. So in addition to the Go Fast Emergency Kit, we stuck in a couple extra items. We have the Exotac Fire Sleeve with a Zippo lighter in there. Then we got what we felt were some critical items from the EDC kit from Wazoo Survival Gear. We got some really nice zip ties. We have some Technora. This is 25 feet of 450 pound test line. This is awesome cordage. We have some tin foil, a water collection bag, ranger bands, and water purification tablets. And then we have a nice 
12 foot length of Gorilla Tape. So all in all, this is our ammo can survival kit. And all in all, I think we did a pretty good job. It doesn't have everything you would want and need in something like a bug out bag, but it does give you some essentials and a few extra items that you definitely need to make sure you have the tools to survive in a crappy situation. And one thing we want to leave you guys before we go is we just created a new video platform on Vidme. So we have a channel over there, which is called Drop Port Survival as well. And for now, it'll be a channel mirror. Due to all the problems we're having with YouTube, we definitely want to make sure we had a presence there. And what we're going to be doing in celebration of that migration is we're going to be doing a 2,500 subscriber or follower giveaway. And once we reach that goal, we're going to have some awesome survival kit and camping and outdoor items for you guys to have fun and a chance to win. So definitely go over there and follow us there today. But that just about is it for now. And if you enjoyed the talking points and the discussion for my ammo box survival kit, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing thriving and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about is it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.